Hello everyone, and welcome to Just Brent. <laughs> In today's video, I want to show you guys five words or phrases that I used in Japan that were most useful for me. You guys definitely know what all these words or phrases mean. I'm just letting you know, as an American, what were the most useful for me to know while I was in Japan and what I used the most while I was there. So let's get to it. Japanese words. Let's go! First word to me that was the most useful in Japan was, of course, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa means hello or hi. This one may be very, very obvious for people. If you go to another country, you should know how to say hello to people. That's the first thing you usually say when you meet a new person or see someone. So every time when I was in Japan, people would greet each other with the word konnichiwa. It's so important to know how to say hello when you go to another language because that's generally the first first thing you say to someone when you see them and if you don't understand how to say hello to someone then you're gonna have a lot of trouble in that country this one's most definitely an obvious one and I already knew this before going to Japan and a lot of Americans know what konnichiwa means but I have to put it on this list because it's just so important to know so the first word that was so important for me in Japan was of course Konnichiwa. The second word that was most important for me to learn in Japan is another one that's kind of obvious, and that is arigato or tomoragato. That means thank you or thank you very much in Japanese. It's another obvious one, yes, and you should know how to say thank you in Japanese. There were a lot of instances where I went to a store and purchased something in Japan and they would finish by saying arigato gozaimasu. To me, I knew that just generally meant thank you. And here in the United States, when you buy something, the cashier does say thank you to you. You might be thinking a lot of Americans do know what this means, but it actually is a little bit confusing for us. There's a couple different ways that Japanese people say thank you to each other in Japan, and it might confuse some Americans when they're first going. The general consensus in Japan is that people know the word arigato, meaning thanks or thank you. However, if you go up to an American who doesn't really know Japanese in Japan and you say, Tomoragato gozaimasu, they might be thinking, uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. I understand the arigato part, but I don't understand the rest of it. They may understand the beginning of that phrase, but they won't understand the end of it. Also, there's a couple other ways you guys say it too. You could say, Arigato, or Tomoragato, or Tomoragato gozaimasu, or Arigato gozaimasu. So, if you're, it's your first time going to Japan and you're hearing all these different ways to say thank you, you might get a little bit confused. I know the first time I heard all of these when I was younger, I was a little bit confused on which one to use. However, since I went there, I felt I got a little bit better understanding of how to say thank you or thank you very much in Japanese. Another obvious one, however, it was definitely the second most important phrase or words that I would used in Japan. So, domoregato. The third word or phrase that was most useful for me in Japan was one I actually learned while I was there. That phrase is daijoubu. Daijoubu means are you okay? Or is it okay? And if you say daijoubu desu, that means I'm okay. This is a very important phrase when you go to Japan because a lot of people will actually say to you daijoubu, daijoubu, meaning are you okay? Or is it okay? And then the answer for it is usually daijoubu desu, meaning I'm okay, or daijoubu, it's okay. This is another phrase that can be a little bit difficult if it's your first time going to Japan and learning the language. Daijoubu can mean, is it okay, or are you okay? And it can also mean, it is okay, and if you add daijoubu desu, you can say, I'm okay. So this one does confuse people. I know it really confused me in the beginning. I was always thinking, why are there people using the same phrase for asking the question and answering the question. So that's why it was a little bit difficult for me at first. However, it is a very useful term and I used it a lot. One instance I remember for using the term daijoubu or daijoubu desu a lot was when I went to Universal Studios in Japan. I got very sick on the JR train there and the people I was there with would always ask me, daijoubu, daijoubu? And I would just answer daijoubu desu, even though I was not feeling good at all. So that is the third 
most useful phrase for me when I went to Japan. The fourth most useful phrase that I learned in Japan was semimasen. Semimasen in English means excuse me. This is what I probably used the most when I went into Japan. I really didn't know how many times people say excuse me in the United States or semimasen in Japan. After I learned this word, it really made me realize how many people say excuse me or semimasen on a daily basis. This phrase is so useful. You can, you can use it anywhere. A couple examples of places I use this were if I was at a store and I had a question for one of the people that worked there, I would start by saying semimasen or excuse me to get their attention. I use this a lot on trains and subways and people used it a lot on trains and subways while I was there. If it's very crowded, usually the word you'd say is semimasen or in English in America, we would say excuse me. So, semimasen is a phrase I learned while I was in Japan. I didn't know what it was before, but it was definitely the word I used the most when I was in Japan. The fifth and final phrase that I thought was most useful in Japan that I actually learned in Japan is obviously Nihongo wakarimasen. Translated into English, this means I don't understand, or I don't understand or speak Japanese. You probably know why this is so important for me while I was in Japan, because obviously I do not speak fluent Japanese. There was a lot of cases where I would go into places and of course everyone there for the majority speaks Japanese and that makes so much sense because I was in Japan. If someone would come up to me and ask me something or try to talk to me while I was in Japan, it's always going to be in Japanese. So my response to all those people was always Nihongo wa karimasen. This is a phrase that everyone should learn worldwide. For example, if you came into the United States and you saw someone speaking English, you should learn the phrase I'm sorry, I don't understand, or I'm sorry, I don't speak English. This is such a useful phrase, and it may seem obvious that you should learn it before, but for some reason, a lot of people don't learn these phrases before going to other countries, and then when they get there, they realize, wow, this is a phrase that I should have known way before I went to this country. This phrase definitely helped me a, a lot in Japan. So that is why it is the fifth and maybe the most important phrase that I learned while I was in Japan. I didn't learn this phrase until I went to Japan, and I wish I learned it before, but I'm glad I know it now. And that is why it is the fifth and maybe the most important phrase on this list. So those are the five words or phrases that I thought were the most important and useful for me to know when I was in Japan. These words or phrases are definitely very, very obvious that you should know. However, a lot of people forget when you're in another country, you're changing cultures completely. And that part of that culture is going to be a language. And if you can't understand the language in a country at least a little bit, it's going to be kind of tough getting your way around. I'm glad I know these phrases now. Because if I go to Japan in the future again, I will definitely be using these. Thank you so much everyone for watching. That was the five most useful words and phrases that I thought helped me the most while I was in Japan. Most of these words and phrases that I put in this video are probably very, very obvious, and I do understand that. However, these are definitely the five that I believe helped me the most while I was there. Without these five phrases, I think I would have had a much more difficult time finding my way around Japan. However, now that I know them, I believe that I will never forget them. My trip to Japan was an amazing experience that I will never forget, and I can't thank you guys enough for all of your continued support. Thank you so much. Tomo arigato gozaimasu. Stop. I hope you really enjoyed that video. So, chanjuru toroku, onagashimasu, and remember, we are. Ki.